It's Jackie and I'm here with Adam Gahadi. Day two, Firefly. Day two. Still, still standing, <laughs> still standing. Yeah. Um, this is your first Firefly, first but Firefly. what are some of your favorite festivals to play? Favorite festival? So actually, this is my first U.S. festival. I was uh, recently studying abroad in Europe. I played at a broad fest over there. That was unbelievable. Uh, Firefly, extremely humble to be here. Um, future, just to you know, start keep on growing. You know, I'm coming out my first original project. Hopefully that can take me out to, you know, EDC, Tomorrowland. I mean, that would be the craziest thing in the world. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's it. What are some of your favorite clubs to play? Favorite clubs? So, uh, I go to Maryland, still going to my senior year of college. Uh, I played Echo Stage a couple times, Soundcheck over there. Overseas, uh, Shoko in Barcelona, Space in Florence. Everywhere, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> so, do you prefer the, uh, the indoor venues or the outdoor festivals? Um... You know, it's just a different vibe per, you know, indoor versus outdoor, you know, outdoor, outdoors, everyone out here is having a great time under the sun. It's, it's, I would probably go with outdoor. Yeah, you know. It's at least right now. At least right now, you know, can't <laughs> complain 85 degrees, right? Yeah, I'll take that any day. Raining, not so much. Raining, not so much. Raining, I'm going to prefer an indoor one, but. <laughs> so how do you uh, combine the audio that you produce with the visuals for a live show? Yeah, so um, a lot of it's like, with my manager, we talk a lot. Uh, like depending what I'm playing or usually a lot of the time my, my sets are always on the fly like I never like pre-recording anything or pre pre-setting you know having a playlist or anything because I just like to go off the energy of the crowd and all that so a lot of the time it's gonna be you know simple colors fun engaging stuff so the crowd's always gonna be into it and then you just go from there most of the time always on the fly with my sets you know I, I you live life on the like that's a, that's yeah, a risky you got you to do that <laughs> so what songs um what is it about a song that makes you want to pull from it to play is it like a beat a, a lyric yeah. a vocal or all of the above oh yeah for sure so for me you know connecting to songs is always you know through the lyrics and combining with those sounds you know the elements the layers of everything so for me you know if they have strong engaging lyrics Hell yeah, I'm going to play that stuff. But, you know, also if those beats are really engaging and, you know, they get people going, you know, get people dancing, it's always going to be a mix of those two. So. Is there a certain genre that you prefer not to pull from? Prefer not to pull from. So, I would say, like, more hip-hop and, like, you know, all of that because I'm so more, you know, EDM, pop-driven, uh, trap, deep house, like, all that stuff. That's just what I prefer more to play. Um, I will, you know engage and bring in those elements of hip-hop you know either with a remix of something cool or an edit i'll make um just to get the crowd going because you know everyone loves hip-hop and a lot of people do so you know a little bit of everything i like that so you're talking about um making some original work what's inspiring that like what are you pulling from yeah for sure um so this is like i said the first original project me like five songs five to six songs um a lot of like influences so i started with you know i started making music as ed sheeran and john mayer those are two huge influences and it's like weird because I'm like an EDM pop, like, I, what? what? <laughs> I, no, but I can see it. It makes sense. Yeah, so I mean, like, a lot of that's lyrically driven, you know, a lot of lyric inspiration. And from that, I will, you know, I write all the time on a plane, on, in a car, on a train, anywhere it may be. And then from there, I'll just go into my studio and just produce ton, tons of songs. You know, I'll pull, like, I like this, I'll work off this. And then from there, you know, every, you know, it's, just, it's just everywhere. Inspiration's everywhere, you know. So I feel like in 2019, digital music is really the, the, main, the mainstay. Which do you think has more of an impact of music of your genre, SoundCloud or Spotify? Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I mean, I started out on SoundCloud. You know, it's, it was, uh, it was uh, the base that I started everything. And, but now today, I mean, I feel more of it's, you know, streaming through Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music and all that. Um, but I think now it's it's shifting more to Spotify and everything, and that's where I'm going to start releasing. I mean, all my music really now, it's everything. Yeah. So what's up next for you after Firefly? After Firefly, back to New York, back to the studio, back to making tons of music, sessions. I have a studio session next week on Saturday, tracking some more vocals for the next song, and then yes, keep plugging away. <laughs> Stay tuned for much more from Adam Kahati. This is Jackie. Thanks to Chorus FM in the key of change and the vinyl.